uh, 2.1 Algeria render, um, and particularly about uh, procedure instances. Um, in this new version, you can create a uh, multiple level of instances in the object that we're going to dive directly in. Um, so when do you want to create instances? It's when you want to create a lot of objects, like a lot, a lot of object, a big amount of object. Um, I'm going to we'll look at uh, how to create uh, like tiny stones on the surface. Um, we can use to spread this, uh, to scatter this object, um, any uh, geometry uh, that's cause the surface, like any plane, any uh, any surface, um, or we can use point cloud uh, to scatter this all object. So let's dive directly into uh, this example. So um, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to grab a little tiny object that's called uh, just tiny uh, stone, just right there. Here it is. And uh, we're going to simply um, scatter it on a plane. So first of all, we're going to create a plane. I'm going to connect it to the flow and I'm going to, of course, scale it up. So I'm going to press R and I'm going to scale it up. Okay, here we go. And we're going to instance this tiny stone on the surface. So I'm going to connect the plane on the scalp input and I'm going to connect the stone object on the instances input. As the procedural is drove uh, its density, drove its density by a surface and a scale the object, uh, I just want to prevent that uh, during too much objects. Uh, so I'm gonna ask for something like um, an exponent uh, negative. So it's gonna be really um, multiplied by really really tiny um, uh, numbers. So something like um, two uh, to uh, power uh, minus five. And um, I'm going to create a skylight to get some uh, basics lighting setups. And as you can see, we create a lot of objects really quickly. We can shade this object and uh, just connect a simple shader and a color. And here we go. We shade this object. So you can see we can really quickly create a lot of objects. Um, if we want to change the density, we can go for something um, like this. Okay, I've got this object. Um, as you can see, uh, there are some um, issues because the uh, bounding box of the procedures um, is not big enough to uh, handle other objects. So one of the tips right now, it's uh, going to addances and extend the bond box. Um, don't go too far because it will uh, degrade the performance. And as you can see, I got the uh, tiny, I got the uh, sky, the line of the shape of my object, right? Okay, good thing. So um, what I can do to um, go further on it, it's uh, I can uh, create a density noise and um, drive this like this way saying, well, I've got procedural this um, map on the UV of my scalp. So, and I can uh, scale down the frequency of my noise. So let's say that we're gonna go for a number five um, okay. Oh, okay. So I've got something like a processor drove and, um, with basic setup, uh, I can also, um, create some, uh, some, um, uh, variation, uh, scaling up and down my objects and, uh, using a noise and, uh, also it's going to be map on the UV. So let's say that we're going to go for something like, um, with the biggest frequency. So I can get really tiny object like this one and really biggest one. Okay. Um, last but not least, we can um, perturbate the rotation going for a polar noise. So the polar, it's the, uh, it's going to turn the object with the uh, Y axis. And uh, let's say that we're going to go for something like um, four um, of uh, frequency. So, okay. So we perturbate a lot. Um, my setup and let's say that, okay, uh, I just want to add little tiny sp uh, specularity and it's kind of way too sharp. So, um, okay, just 0 0.8. Okay, 
just for the look. Um, in this case, um, I only use a plane uh, to scatter the object, but I can use some other object like a point cloud. So let's have a look. I'm gonna remove uh, my instances node. I'm gonna remove my plane and um, I'm gonna import a point cloud that was made for instances, uh, these stones. I'm gonna import it. So I'll just drag and drop and here it comes. So this is my point cloud. So it's a point cloud particle. And um, let's render it, have a look at it. So as any uh, particle in Galeria, I can go in particles and change some parameters. So I can go for something like a sphere and change its first size, sphere radius, sorry guys. And okay, so I'll need to get something bigger. Okay, let's say bigger. Good. And um, in this case, I'm not going to use particles as they are made. I'm going to use them to scatter my objects. So I'm going to create an instances like before. But in this case, particularly, I'm going to connect point cloud on it. So I'm going to use the point cloud scalp. Here we go, instances directly into the inst uh, stones into the instances entrance and I've got still my merge object and I'm gonna scatter them. So, so we can use uh, Houdini in this case to get something more smarter and to get something smart to uh, instance object at a precise point. I get something like interaction and you go more, uh, it, it will definitely work better for this kind of setup. And um, and you can get something like a, a, re, a thickness and, um, um, a, a, on the uh, instances system. Um, so there is some setup to using Houdini for that and uh, you can need to extract some criterions uh, to get your rotation right. But uh, as you can see, you work pretty well on the uh, uh, Guria side to just uh, drag and drop and connect the uh, stones directly into the point cloud. Um, but I, I want to go uh, further in my setup because um, I'm going to go uh, and say, well, maybe, uh, and there was a case of um, the material I got. And um, in this case, uh, I may want to uh, think something as it can be should I close up and also something like can go really uh, bigger. And um, I want to use the new features of Gerard that you, we can use a uh, different level, multiple level of instances in system. So I'm going to search for something like um, really tiny object that can work. So um, I want to instantiate tiny object to get more detail on my punk load. Um, I'm going to drag and drop uh, a pack of uh, cigarette butts uh, that was made uh, from a student project. And um, as you can see, we're going to zoom in. Here come my cigarette butts. There he is. Okay, so uh, Zori Center on the world, that makes sense. Uh, I've got uh, a couple of ones. Uh, I'm going to had, um, I'm gonna um, isolate them by dragging and drop the apparent. Uh, so here, go, here it comes. And um, I'm gonna remove my uh, isolate uh, setup. Okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, select all my object. I'm gonna uh, go into dynamic attributes and I'm gonna create a specific attribute uh, that called object name. Uh, because I want a different, I want um, that Gary recognize all object as a different uh, object. And um, so right now I'm going to call that uh, this uh, but A, this but B, this C, this one D, well, and this one E. So surprising. So as right now, Gary is going to um, uh, recognize that each object is separate, is separate for the other one. And uh, it's not a pack of uh, but, that's, it's a pack with a different but in it. And um, so I can, um, I, I go for uh, create a simple setup also. So I'm gonna, a side of it, I create instances again. And I'm gonna call that uh, sigbat. I'm going to connect the instances on this object. And right now I'm going to use my stones as the 
um, I see a scalp of my object. So I'm gonna connect the stones, I'm gonna connect here in the scalp, but I wanna give all the transformation of the parents. So I'm gonna say that right now, the parents of my system is of the universe is not uh, connecting to nothing, it's connecting to an object, because I wanna get all the transformation of this um, stones. And I'm gonna connect uh, my cigarette spots right there, and I'm gonna remove saying, uh, right now, I don't want any AEG uh, distinction, so I'm, I'm gonna grab any, well, uh, let's say that we're gonna instance the whole, the whole group, it will, uh, we'll figure it out. And um, I'm gonna, uh, after that, go to uh, the density, and I'm gonna change my uh, density exponent. Now, let's go for this, and uh, let's zoom out, and let's render. Well, um, as you can see, there was tons of cigarettes that had been instantiated on the object, and uh, that was, uh, I'm surprised it's that fast. I was expecting for something like uh, <laughs> way more, <laughs> way more uh, slower. And um, let's say for uh, something like uh, minus three exponent. Okay, there it goes. So, um, what what the power of the system? It's uh, in fact we didn't instantiate like billions of uh, cigarettes. In fact, in fact we uh, instantiate just a couple of cigarettes butts on stones. After that, we instantiate the whole group together. So that's why we were able to um, handle this amount of object that fast. And uh, and let's say that we're gonna go for a minus four. It will go more. Uh, it will be more. That's that's already something like that's not, of course it's not the case in Paris right now. There is not that amount of uh, cigarette fact. So, but it it will give you the idea of, of the system. So, um, with this system, we're able to uh, use uh, Udini point cloud to uh, or any um, uh, software that can produce point cloud that is usable and particle point cloud, and we can instantiate object to get all the simulation and uh, all the uh, smart system that we can use uh, to um, uh, lay out all the objects. And uh, after that, we can um, had a level of object on these procedures to get more tiny detail to um, get all this uh, large amount of object. So as you can understand right now, we can go really deep with that and uh, we can use something like say, okay, well, um, I wanna create some um, complex elements with uh, uh, tiny uh, fur or a tiny object that create a leaf and with the flip on um, on a tree, we can instantiate uh, all the flip on the tree. After that, we can instantiate the tree. So we can use tree levels, and uh, it's gonna be super, super, super uh, memory sober. In fact, to work like this, but in a society, a more complex way of uh, handling all the object and with a more atomic way of the system. So, but this example it worked pretty well for uh, scattering all the object on the on, on the. Um, uh, cigarette butts on the uh, point cloud. Thank you so much.